Okay, so this is my beer chiller. Decided to hook it up to a cooler. I have some coils of copper tubing here. Um, it'll uh, it's it'll pump glycol and water uh, that's uh, chilled down through the copper tubing and then back into the reservoir, this top reservoir. This bottom reservoir, um, I have this setup where the uh, PC cooler, or PC radiator, will uh, cool the, the computer, uh, CPU and GPU. Uh, those are my quick disconnects. Um, and then the hopes is to keep my computer cool while I'm trying to overclock. I have um, an ink bird there, as well as um, a thermometer that measures, and then it turns on and off the pump that's inside this reservoir, uh, winding the uh, cold glycol water mixture into this cooler. Uh, and then the idea is that it will then kind of the other computer, the PC pump, will move water back and forth here. I'm going to give this a try and then take some measurements of the water um, temperature and see how, uh, I guess, the, the chiller, how cold that gets and then how cold the, the, uh, the cooler gets, the Coleman cooler here. I was able to use this cooler before and get down to four degrees with just uh, water and ice, and that was to cool my GPU. Um, gonna do the same and hope I can get even lower and then be able to see if I can uh, overclock and produce some better results. Uh, just for fun, gonna see what ha happens with this uh, this setup. It's probably overkill, but um, we'll see figured how many people are doing things like this. Okay, so this is the uh, beer chiller. Um, has a 20% glycol solution to water solution. Uh, the pump pushes that solution through these copper coils. Copper coils are surrounding the computer radiator. Uh, normally that radiator gets cooled by air here is cool it with, with water um, and then you see that the uh, we have another pump up here that kind of pushes the uh, normal uh, DI water through the system uh, but it's going through the, uh, the radiator down there. Okay I turned the chiller on. Looks like the uh, glycol solution is right now at about 13.5 degrees. Um, I set it to go down to negative 5 degrees. Let's we'll see if we can kind of get to that. Um, you can kind of see that the there's a there's actually a pump that's kind of up in this corner over here. Uh, it's a fountain pump and it kind of circulates the water. And you can kind of see the action that is kind of happening there. It's cooler. Right now it says the temperature is 12.6 degrees in this cooler here. Okay, so I covered everything up so that way uh, it can be a little bit more insulated. Uh, reach temperatures and sustain a little bit better. Uh, there's the ink bird. Uh, there's a thermometer that kind of goes into the cooler and it tells me that it's 12.8 degrees. Um, I used the towel to kind of fill up the gap between the the top of the cooler and the bottom. Uh, try to provide a little bit more uh, insulation so that way uh, the, the coldness doesn't escape.
Okay, so I ran several times using this uh, setup that I have, and for some odd reason, um, I had some sort of instability, and I had to actually stop the test. I couldn't achieve the, the scores that I, I hit before using just uh, uh, just blocks of ice. So something between then and now um, doesn't seem to have as much uh, stability, and need to figure that out. But uh, one thing that I did notice is that you can get to really cold temperatures um, that ice alone couldn't get to. So I, th I think if anything that's a promising result. Um, so I think later on what I'm going to have to do is maybe repaste my GPU or my CPU and, and see if there's something that I can do to try to improve the uh, uh, consistency. So uh, I think that's my uh, air chiller setup. Uh, peace out.